there are a number of anatomical features which are found in most or all vertebrae. First is the hole through which the spinal cord, or in the inferior segments, at least spinal nerves, pass. It is known as the vertebral foramen. Just as the hard bone of the cranium protects the delicate brain, the hard bone of the vertebral column protects the delicate spinal cord. And then there are uh, elongated bony processes for muscle attachment. Uh, there is one single a spinous process along the midline of the vertebrae, and one can feel uh, the tips of these spinous processes along the midline of the back, and then two transverse processes uh, projecting out to the lateral sides. All of the vertebrae except for the first have a solid compact body which are important uh, for various aspects of support. The vertebrae obviously form a column, and individual vertebrae must move relative to the neighboring vertebrae. We must flex and extend our vertebral column, laterally flex our vertebral column, and rotate sections of our vertebral column. And this is allowed because each vertebra has a superior articular process, which allows it to articulate with the vertebra which is superior to it and an inferior articular process which allows it to uh, articulate or move against the vertebra which is inferior to it. And so the movement between the superior and arti uh, inferior articular processes of neighboring vertebrae allows for much of the movement of the vertebral column. The term intervertebral foramen literally means the hole between the vertebrae. And this space is not something you can observe on any one single vertebrae. It is only evident when two vertebrae are fitted together. And so when you consider the vertebral column, you note the intervertebral foramina through which spinal nerves leave the spinal cord and go to the sites that they innervate. Also between uh, the vertebrae are the intervertebral discs made of fiber cartilage and a center uh, which is the remnants of the fetal notochord known as the nucleus uh, pulposus. Uh, these intervertebral discs serve to cushion the uh, vertebral column.